few decades left before the irreversible collapse of human civilization, according to a new study claiming. The study conducted by Professor Mauro Bologna of the Department of Electronic Engineering at the University of Tarapacá in Chile and Dr. Gerardo Aquino, research associate at the Alan Turing Institute in London, modeled current rates of deforestation and population growth. Humanity has less than a 10% chance of avoiding a collapse of civilization, claims the new research. It was published in the journal Scientific Reports. And according to this new study, the rampant consumption of natural resources driving the human race towards a catastrophe. The authors of the report created a model in, uh, which estimated that with the current rate of deforestation, there will be no forests in approximately 100 to 200 years. It's highly unlikely to imagine the survival of many species, including ours, on Earth without forests. The progressive degradation of the environment due to deforestation would heavily affect human society and consequently the human collapse would start much earlier, wrote Dr. Aquino and Professor Bologna. There were 60 million square kilometers of forest on Earth before the development of human civilization. A new paper says that there are now only 40 million square kilometers of forest. Current population growth coupled with the rate humanity consumes the resources we have means that only two to four decades are left before the irreversible collapse of our civilization. The research study points out, adding that there's less than a 10% chance that civilization itself survives. In conclusion, our model shows that a catastrophic collapse in human population due to resource consumption is the most likely scenario of a dynamic evolution based on current parameters. We conclude from a statistical point of view that the probability that our civilization survives itself is less than 10% in the most optimistic scenario. Calculations show that maintaining the actual rate of population growth and resource consumption, in particular forest consumption, we have a few decades left before an irreversible collapse of our civilization. This is what the authors wrote. That's their conservative, optimistic scenario. Can you believe it? Let alone the fact that with that forest, we're going to have a tremendous amount of climate change. Now, is this the end? The model created by Dr. Aquino and Professor Bologna took into account current conditions and extrapolated them into the future. The situation with deforestation seems to have started improving in the past few years, though the numbers don't mean that we've turned off the road leading to ecological catastrophe. According to the report published by the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization with the UN Environmental Program, the rate of deforestation has been declining for the past several decades from 7.8 million hectares per year to 4.7. In addition, new forests have been created naturally and artificially. But in global terms, the area of forests has been decreasing. The UN report says 178 million hectares, an area about the size of Libya, of forests were cut between 1990 and 2020. Nothing in excess. The authors of this new study also looked at whether our technological growth will enable us to prevent an environmental collapse or rebuild civilization in extraterrestrial space, in other words, on another planet, of course, the answer is disappointing. Chances are slim. Moreover, the study suggests that intelligent civilizations tend to end up destroying due to overconsumption long before they develop capabilities to become advanced and enduring. Consumption of the planetary resources may not be perceived as strongly as a mortal danger for the human civilization because it is driven by the economy, read the study. According to its authors, a new model of society should be created that in some way privileges the interest of the ecosystem above the individual interests of the components, but eventually in accordance with the overall communal interests. This is on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight 
on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.